my joint. Hot mama K, yeah, I'm a hot chick. Yeah, get with it. Hi, sweet coconuts. Welcome to Sweet Coconut Entertainment. My name is Almond Joy K. I'm your host and your tarot reader. Or I'm not a psychic, I'm just an intuitive reader. Okay? And if you came across this video, thank you so much for watching. And today's topic is, is the person on your mind really in love with you? So we have two piles to choose from. Pile one with the yellow candle and the um, light shears deck. And then we have pile two, which is the light navy blue type of candle. I like that color. And the... Um, Tattoo tarot deck, I believe it's called. Either way it go, ladies, gentlemen, uh, look at the card, look at the candle, pick a pile intuitively, or watch both is your choice. The person on your mind, starting with pile one. So, pile one. Spirit. I ask that you help me deliver these messages clearly, accurately and give people the answers they want and need to hear at this moment in life. All right, we're gonna cleanse the deck, cleanse the energy. Spirit, can you help me deliver the message for Pile One? Does Pile One person really care about them? Okay, hey. All right, Pile One, Pile One Yellow Candle. There's definitely a yellow, um, a lot of yellow out here. We got the sun. We got the yellow dress, the star. We got the emperor with the seven of wands. So, does the person on your mind really love you? So, what I'm getting from this, yes. Reason being we have the emperor now the emperor is a solid mother sucker okay the emperor is here to stay the emperor ain't about no games the emperor he knows what he wants in life he or she take it how it go it's energies it does not matter if you're male or female it's energy so does this person want you yes they're not going anywhere. Some of you guys can be probably dating a guy who or a girl who's about we're not gonna go into the looks. We're not because it doesn't matter about the looks. But all I know is the person that's with you, yes, they do. Um the person you used to be with with the six of swords, they definitely been through some hardships in life. They definitely been through things that try to tear them apart. Um, it's like now that they met you, they feel like happiness. They feel happiness with you. They feel you bring them so much joy, so much clarity. And that's crazy because the yellow, all oh, this yellow, y'all. That's a lot of yellow. So some of y'all, you know. Favorite color may be yellow, or you may embody the um, aura of a yellow. But anywho, yeah, so this person definitely sees you as someone who's very outgoing. Very outgoing, has a great personality to you. You know just how to have fun. Like, this, this woman, like, she just having fun. Like, she just doing her, you know. And they love that about you, you know, and... They love how you just go for whatever you want in life. You take leaps of faith to whatever you, whatever, with the full card. So whatever you want to do, especially by you manifesting with the seven of ones, you see this woman is manifesting. Um, yeah, so your person on your mind, they just love that you're a go-getter. You, you, whatever you say you're going to do, you're, you're going to do it. And you accomplish it exactly with the nine of pentacles so whatever you say you're going to do you're going to do it you accomplish it and they just love that 
about you look you got the queen of wands too so yeah guys this person is really like really in love with you they really have a lot of sexual feelings for you as well they see you as a um someone they can build stability with with the nine of pentacles they see some they really see that they can really work with you with with you and make things happen in life you know and you you stay keeping this person happy like this person is so happy with you like they stay smiling they just want to give you the world they want to yes with the emperor they just really want to give you the world like this person is really in love with you oh wow i love that let's see what else this person just can't keep can't keep you off of their mind, I heard Spirit say. I can't keep her off my mind. Mm hmm With the death and rebirth. Let's clarify death and rebirth, Spirit. Yeah. Ooh, these cards just be flying. Yeah, so. Okay, we're not taking them. I didn't know that many came out. Okay. Should I take it? Okay, okay, yeah, because alrighty, all these came out. So Spirit said take them. Okay. So basically we got four of swords. Yeah, again, nine of cups. Like I said, this person see they can build with you. Nine nine. You guys probably see a lot of nine nines as well. Yep, then we got 19 with the sun. So we got ace of cups. Three of Wands. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. This person, or even you, you guys been through some weak-ass relationships with motherfuckers who wanted to see you all down and out, who put you through so much, who tried to just really leave you stuck. They try to leave you stuck in life. Motherfuckers even try to put like, I don't know, I'm getting like spell work on you to keep you from moving into a new love. Yes, with the Ace of Cups. This person, um, so I'm getting like an ex or so, try to keep you stuck from moving on to a new ex or whatever. But all that shit has been put to death. You have rebirth. You moved on from a lot of that bullshit that motherfuckers was trying to put you through. You or him or her, however it go. But anyway, um, it's going to be a lot of success, victory for you guys. I feel I, I heard um, moving on up with Jefferson's. I don't know why that song in my head. Moving on up, moving on up. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so this person, more yellow, guys, or gold, whatever it want to be, but at the end of the day, this person wants to build a family with you. They really want this happiness with you. They see it. They see victory with you. This is, this person just waiting for you to come forward and say, hey, I really want this with you. I really want to start this new beginning in love, but you or this person is probably feeling a little stuck when it comes to love because you don't know if you really want it or not see this person trying to hand you some love some they're trying to hand you um brightness well we got a lot of rainbows too yeah they're trying to hand you this this person on your mind wants to give you this guys they want to give you a ten of cups they want to have this completed happy family with you no matter if the kids is not theirs or the kids are theirs, however it go, or if you just met, however it go. But either way it go, this person wants to give you joy. But this is you thinking like this person is playing and, and don't want this with you, but they really do. They see victory with you. Like, literally, this is them, but they see maybe it's a lot of competition as well. They feel like... Maybe they're competing, yep, with the Two of Pentacles because you are the Queen of Cups. And there's a lot of King of Wands after y'all. Yeah, and this person feel like you may be a heartbreaker too. But at the end of the day, they willing to still try it out because they, you know, they're willing to keep going with you with this. 
yes with the page guys it's like i don't even have to flip the card they just reading everything for me with the knight of cups so this person really is into you guys so if this person if you want to know if this person really love you yes they just have some doubts that you you may break their heart because you are queen of cups and with the queen of cups you are sexy and with the queen of wands you got a lot of queens out here my baby whoever you may be you got the queen of wands and the queen of cups so um we have an emperor out here so there may be an emperor coming towards you too uh for people who may be single or not i don't know but at the end of the day um the person on your mind they find you really sexy loving caring creative emotional intelligent like you just got it going oh my baby whoever you may be and they want to come in they want to come in and offer you love maybe it's a couple lovers who wants to offer you some love as well maybe it's another person yeah because i'm getting it's another person watching you yep it's another person watching it's 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 two people after you pile one Two people are interested in you. So it's like you with someone right now. I believe you with this person right now. I believe you with a king. Oh, I hear that, my baby. You with a king of wands right now. But there's a knight of wands watching you too. But mm, I don't know. I got from the knight of wands. They like this king. He He's very passionate he he know what he wants you got the emperor and the king so there's some oh some of y'all might have um a, a couple of options out here when it comes to love or so but who knows you never know but like i said one of y'all may be with a king right now or you have an emperor or an emperor is coming towards you or this king is going to turn to an emperor for you because again this emperor wants to give you the world he wants to give you what he said. No, he wants to give you it all because he bought that life, you know. But right now, he in the king of wands stage. But spirit saying, if you were the king, you better stay with his ass because if you mess up and go around, because some I'm getting that some of y'all may be messing with talking to somebody low key on the side. So if you are, um, spirit saying this motherfucker just a knight. All he want to do is come in, charge, you know, love you up, butter you up, do they do and leave a message bye see you later i'll call you later yeah this person don't want to feel juggled this person don't want to feel juggled they don't want to feel like they have to you have to decide between them or another person when this is them at the top like this person at the bottom like i said it's a knight it's a knight at the bottom who ain't about shit so you better make the right choice make the right choice so we're going to go on with these cards and see what spirit has to say. Spirit, what does Paul one need to know when it comes to their love life or the person on their mind, how the person is feeling? Spirit, what does Paul one need to know when it comes to their love life? Okay, come on then. Okay, so codependency. Let's see. express your love and reconciliation just one more spirit thank you Alrighty, and then we have oh forgiving and learning oh okay so i think it's someone who wants to come in and express their love to you or the person yeah actually that's what i'm getting it's, it's two scenarios. It's someone who wants to come in and express their love to you. Like I said, it's a knight who wants to come in. And then there's a, a king who, who is who actually wants to turn into this emperor for you. They want to express their love to you and, and let you know how much they care about you. And then it's a, another, it's a knight who wants to come in and express their love too. And then it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, yeah. And then there's codependency, so, and then reconciliation. It says addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then reconciliation, so someone from your past is returning to your life. 
And okay, so before I go on to forgiving and learning, codependency. So like I was saying, mm -hmm. with the night, there might be someone who wants to come in and express their love. And it may be an old partner who want to reconcile. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all this shit is crazy. Y'all got two lovers to choose between. So you got two people that's in love with y'all. And yes, it's the person that's on your mind right now, the second person. So you got one person you with right now, or you may not be, who knows. But most of y'all probably is with that person. But you got somebody who wants to come in, who wants to return their love. But again, they only a night. Y'all better not mess up. Because if you do, it's like it says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Y'all, this shit dope. I'm trying to tell y'all. Spirit is saying, you need to forgive this past person and learn from it. And know that this is not where it's at no more. So if this person wants to come in and try to reconcile things with you because they have a really bad codependency on you, they're stuck on you still. They're addicted to you, whoever you may be. This person is addicted, and they and they can't get enough of you. But Spirit said, you got to move on from that. I won't be surprised if at least your ex is at the bottom. Oh, but nope. But new love is. New love is at the bottom, which is this motherfucking emperor. Y'all better not let that emperor go. Not for no night. No, y'all better not. So, part one, um, that was your spread. If you like that, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, again, Power One, yeah, I'm trying to learn. The, the person on your mind does love you. And then there's a past person who's in love with you too who wants to return. So, Spirit is saying make the right choice when it comes to this person. Don't fall for the bull. You are in the process of forgiving and learning. You actually are healing from this past person. And then you got new love who want somebody like people want to express themselves. So you you better get it together so you don't miss out, my baby. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to pile two. Pile two, put that right there. Pile two, which is the blue purpose candle. Cleanse the energy. spirit we're on to pile two pile two spirit and we are asking can you cleanse this and we are asking for pile two how does the person on pile two mind feel about them is the person on pile two mind in love with them so is pile two person in love with them so let's see let's find out is the person on pile two in love with them? Pile two person is in love. Do they love them? Let's find out. Is the person on pile two in love? Is the person on pile two mine in love with them? Does their person love them? How to does the person on your mind love you or in love with you whichever one I'm getting it's uh, uh this is how I feel it's like a, a, a off energy how to um the person that you're with right now, you really want them to be a king of cups, which is, again, just energy. You really want them to be a king of cups, which is someone who's loving, caring, understanding, um, just very emotional, know how to show their emotions, just, you know, open with who they are. And they hold back a lot with the king of cups, with the king of swords. They hold their emotions back. And you see, you got the sword, and then 
I just look at these as emotions. And this person, this king, he got a um, a stale face, like no emotions. This person has emotions. He, you can tell he he doesn't care about he or she doesn't care about expressing herself. But with this king of swords, you have someone on your mind right now who is very standoffish. Um, very detached, you know, um, just really for themselves. It's like if it's not, it's, it's my way or the highway, you know, yeah. With the Ten of Swords and then we, oh, we got ten, 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 guys. So a lot of you guys may be seeing ten, ten, ten of Swords, ten of Cups, ten of Coins. But anywho, yeah, with the Ten of Swords, they are feeling like, well, actually, this is you feeling like this person don't care. You feel like this person is just around you just to be around you. Oh, yeah, shit, y'all. They're around you just for your money. That's how you feel. You really want um, completion with this person. You feel like you can be completed with this person. You feel like this person really fulfills you. With the ten of cups but this person is not really caring this person just wants your coins my baby they got they the knight of coins they want you to hand it up girl or guy it don't matter this person if they asking you for money or if they asking you to buy them things or if you're buying this person things this person is only using you for ten of coins baby they want you to buy them all type of stuff or you buying them all type of stuff. Or you're buying them all type of stuff. And they're just taking it and just going about their goddamn business with the six of wands. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. It's not funny. But, yeah, with the six of wands, they just like, shit, thank you. Thank you. Because this is, like, all about victory and, like, pretty much they getting what they want. And... Like, they leaving. It's just pretty much they getting what they want. And you not, you not getting anything out of this. You just kind of looking, I don't just be real. You kind of looking dumb right now, whoever you may be. Uh, yeah, with the Ace of Coins. Mm-hmm. Ace of Coins. We got a lot of coins out here. So, whoever you may be, you must got that bread. So, King of Cups still at the bottom. This is what you guys really want. You want someone who's very emotional. But this person, they so stuck in their ways. They don't give a damn about what you want. I didn't know this reading. I, don't, I wasn't expecting this reading to go like this. But anywho, um, I just knew it was going to be two readings about people just as somebody loving someone. But anywho, this person, they don't care about how you feel. What you going through with the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person has already kind of walked away or, or is on the verge of walking away from you. Because they're looking for a new beginning with someone else with the Ace of Coins. Um, they're looking for a new handout pretty much. That's what I'm getting. So you probably like this in Hermit mode. You probably just all to yourself right now or... This person is all to themselves, take it how it resonates, but somebody is pretty much not communicating all the way about their emotions, but you spending that bread. You spending your bread on somebody who don't even care for real. I'm sorry, but that's just not right. Just a couple more messages, spirit. Yeah, that's all we need. Yeah, with the top, ooh, with the tower at the bottom. So, ooh, judgment. Queen of Wands and Nine of Wands, and then we got the Tower. So yeah, um, with the Tower, like I said, this person may about to walk away from you or already did. Mm, cards don't lie, my baby, because they looking for somebody else with the Two of Coins and the Six of Coins. They looking for someone else to give them a handout. They're looking for handouts. They looking for people to give them money only. If once your money run low or they feel like your money ain't good enough no more, they on to the next with the two of coins. They just looking for some balance when it comes to money from other people. Mm-hmm. And the 
and that's the secret about them and that is their secret but all that shit gonna be it's gonna come back around because look judgment came out this person gonna keep this person once they realize they fucked up a good person with the nine of wands once they whew, lord these messages coming so quick okay once they figure out they fucked up for a good person which was a queen of wands and again anyone can embody this energy they gonna be trying to come back they gonna be trying to come back for forgiveness and ask you to forgive them with the judgment card but you gonna be like no no and you better be like no or you already is saying no this probably did happen because this person already probably did walk away from you with the eight of swords and left you feeling all high and dry and shit off fucked up and um you know they walked away yeah with the tower card i'm really getting this person walked away from you already or they're in the process of walking away or you feel distorted be disordered distorted how fuck the word is because this person is nowhere near you anymore but i'm trying to tell you you guys are the queen of wands you guys are very creative very passionate very loving and caring and just know how what the right things to say it's just this person don't see that about you but you about to put all that shit to rest all that shit is, boop. we about to put all that shit to rest just like i said with that arrow so anyway spirit let's go in with some more messages for pile one what do i mean pile two you guys may want to listen to pile one then mm. so spirit what is the message for pile two when it comes to their person what messages do you have for pile two an open mind very soon a couple more spirit mm, release your ex y'all i'm trying to tell y'all oh okay attraction and you deserve love thank you spirit for just i love how what I, the cards like this is what i'm saying this is what this is what's coming out shit and i use these cards to just clarify everything yeah. i'm saying but anywho like i was saying some of this the some of y'all this person has already walked away from y'all and y'all still sick about the shit y'all still sick or and spirit is saying you need to release this person because this person was no good for you anyway this person they didn't really love you for real they didn't care they just want to use you for money but spirit is saying like the time has come to clear your energy so release this person whoever they may be because again they just they wasn't for the right thing but spirit is saying keep an open mind keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations so you probably was dealing with someone who was that bad chick or that good or you found this man to be fine or however you put it how we go but you probably put that person on a pedestal you put that person on a pedestal and now they left your ass and now you feeling like what card i'm looking at? yeah now you feeling like this eight of swords ten of swords you, you feeling this is you all in down and out sad and sick because of this person spirit is saying keep an open mind on love because the type the type of people that you go for is not the type of person for you but just know you do deserve love and you are lovable so someone will be coming into your life very soon <laughs> okay so very soon clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you so if you want love manifest yeah with the attraction y'all damn this shit so dope if you want love manifest it whatever you're attracting will come it says your attraction romantic your attract you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so yeah guys whoever this person is that y'all was dealing with let their ass go so um if they ain't gone already you know don't let them come back if they if they gone already don't let them come back but if they not gone uh they're gonna be gone very soon but just know spirit saying keep an open mind because you're gonna you're gonna be attracting what you need and release that person once you let them go clean your energy Thank you guys for tuning in to Sweet Coconut Entertainment. My name is Almond Joy K. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this reading. Um, 
yeah thank you stay tuned for more readings peace